question will come from Mr. Smale. Thank you, Speaker. The Wet'suwet'en elected chiefs and community members have been excluded from negotiations on a memorandum of understanding affecting land rights and titles. Only a few hereditary chiefs have been part of these secret negotiations. The elected chiefs have issued a press release asking for the government to halt the joint announcement scheduled for May 14th on the MOU until the community has had a chance to look at and understand how the MOU will affect them. Will the minister agree with the democratically elected chiefs and the Wet'suwet'en people that they represent and delay any announcements until proper consultation can be completed? The Honourable Minister. Thank you for the question, and I, I want to reassure the, the member that communication is ongoing with and between our partners on how to go forward on implementing the wet sweat and rights and title with a wet sweat and led solution. We encourage the leadership to continue their ongoing and necessary and important conversations with their community on how they want to proceed on a path towards implementing their rights and title. As we work uh, to rebuild Canada's relationship with the Wet'suwet'en, we'll we to need to give them space to, for these important discussions. So, Minister, is that a yes that the signing will be delayed until the elected chiefs have a chance to look at the agreement? I, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, it is, uh, as I believe, the elected chiefs have uh, had a look at the agreement and uh, that these are very difficult conversations uh, on complex issues around rights and title. Um, this has been outstanding for a Back long time. Mr. Schmale again. Mr. Schmale. Thank you, Speaker. The, the current health crisis should not be used as an opportunity to sideline the wet sweat and people and their elected chiefs. The federal government should be bringing the community together rather than actively excluding wet sweat and members. The chiefs are so concerned that they are now calling for the resignation of the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations for failure to engage in proper consultations, which has stoked divisions within the community. Will the minister reconsider and put in place a consultation process that honours both their traditional house system and the governance responsibilities of elected chiefs and councils. The Honourable Minister. Yet again, I, I think it's very important that the member understand that the the engagement must take place um, and be led by the Wet'suwet'en Nation. That means the hereditary chiefs and the elected chiefs need to work with all clan members as they determine how they wish to work with Canada and the province of British Columbia to implement the rights and title of the Wet'suwet'en people. Mr. Schmeel. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you, Minister. I agree that the uh, Wet'suwet'en should have the opportunity to look at the proposed agreement, but yet we are still seeing uh, news coming out of the elected chiefs and the people they represent that they have not had a thorough chance to look at this proposed agreement. So will the Minister delay the signing? The Honourable Minister. Uh well, I think that uh, the minister, the member, will uh, agree that uh, that there's a lot more work to do with all of the parties. But I do believe that uh, in terms of the the kind of engagement that has taken place in the feast houses, the kind of of of, of notification that took place even before the COVID-19, that, that that work is underway and, and it will be have to be what Soton led in terms of what eventually will be their choice as Mr. to how Schmale. to implement their rights and title. Speaker, for two weeks now, the Liberals on the Indigenous Affairs Committee have shut down Conservatives and witnesses every time we mention the word Wet'suwet'en. They don't want to talk about the issue, an issue that is very much aggravated by the COVID-19 crisis. The Liberals profess to be the advocates for Indigenous communities and the champions of reconciliation. Can the Minister tell us why then are the Liberals determined to shut down discussion and public debate? The Honourable Minister. I uh, I would have to disagree with the member that I don't believe that there's that there's at any time uh, an interest in shutting down discussion or debate. I think though that that at the COVID committee that the the issues facing Indigenous communities, First Nations, Inuit, Métis around COVID nineteen are are very very important to them and uh, and that we need to work with them to make sure that they can keep their communities safe. Mr. Schmale, you have 30 seconds. Thank you, Speaker. I would argue with the minister and challenge her to talk to her committee members. Each time conservatives have brought 
up the topic of Wet'suwet'en and the situation happening with the elected chiefs and the people they represent, we have been shut down every single time. So when will the minister allow the, we'll go to the public debate ministers. to happen? I, I think that, it, again, um, in a committee, uh, that it is the work of the committee, is the, is the decision of the committee, and I believe that, that the chair and, and all members want the First Nations, Inuit and Métis, be able to keep their, committee, their community safe um, during this COVID-19. The, uh, the next question goes to Ms. Cousy.